Where is it? Where is Song of Horror though? We're gonna be able to finish maybe episode two of Song of Horror, so I'm I'm pretty excited about it. I don't even. Re it's been quite a while, so I don't even remember. I don't even remember like what we did last time. We made some some like kind of like UV light, right? I have no idea. Okay, switch the... There you go. Um, oh yeah, no, it's not. Okay, continue. Uh, I think I have the, I have the guide on my phone. No, not on my phone. It's not on my phone, it's on my iPad. Where is it? Okay, yeah, I have the, the guy on my iPad, so I will be... If I'm stuck... If I'm stuck... I know where to, to look. Oh. There you go. Where am I? This episode is so long. It's so long though. Um, so did I... Wait. I did the, the luminal. I created the luminal, right? Oh, okay. Um, okay. Wait, why is it so slow? Oh my gosh. Okay, I just... Okay. So I, um, okay, wait, well, what is the, what are the, okay, so <laughs> I need to review the, the, the commands here. So we have the light source, F, turn on and off is F. Okay, E, so you can inspect it. I, N, G, okay, inventory and journal. Okay, so if there's l l you, okay, listening to the doors is right click. M is for the map, blocking. E and space. The door, hiding. Hold the shift to 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 run. I forgot what to do with, if there's the with the silence. It's, I think I've ever done that with the mouse. The abyss. Oh my gosh. Require. Okay, so. Uh, this is my, I have my lum luminal spray over here. And you have the, um, I we'll have to combine it with this. No. Okay. 
Well, okay, uh, well, I have the luminol spray. So, hmm. is there anything I need? Okay, well, um, so, I guess all, the only thing left that I need to do is to go back to the shop and then go back to the storage room. this I'm not something that what the hell was that oh my gosh I'm freaking out y'all if yeah if someone had used the the if someone had used a jump scare right now and then I, I would never have forgiven you I, I wouldn't have forgiven you I would be like oh fuck y'all fuck y'all no hold on hold on is my what is my, my, I'm ETA Hoffman, okay, okay, I am ETA Hoffman, can he still hear his heartbeat, this, yeah, I'm just... I fucked it up like once, at least it, it gives me like, at least they gave me like a, an actual like a, <laughs> second, ch uh, uh, several chances. Okay, so uh, which way is the storage? Oh, it's the up. Uh, if, if I go, oh, okay. The shop is this way. Hold on, hold on. I'm just making sure. Um, open the second door to the right. Before you use the keys to the source room, to on the door the, to the left, okay. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Okay. This, uh, y'all, this game is so so fucking scary, I cannot even, I cannot even. Uh, I don't even care about the collectibles. I just wanna get the fuck out of here. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, let's go down here. No, but for real, this this game is so well done. Like it's such a good horror game. I'm surprised it doesn't have that much more. Like it doesn't have much more buzz. Um. Okay. So. Oh wait. Um.
Wait. Oh, hold on. Right. Time to play detective. Oh no, I cannot go back. I cannot go back. I went the wrong way. Wait. Oh. Oh, I have to follow this way. Okay. Oh, not the mannequin. What the fuck? Not the mannequin here, the random mannequin. Oh my gosh. Okay, this way. Oh, wait. Wait, what the? Uh, the nose mentioned wardrobe blood stains that could only be seen with luminol. I wonder if this is the sto right storage room. but I the, nope wrong one oh, okay how does how do you know that it's the wrong one okay gonna die oh my gosh I keep forgetting that you instead of blocking instead of like hiding you have to block the door no game we will not catch those hands <laughs> Oh my gosh. My, my My mental health cannot take it. My mental health cannot take it. I can't he hear anything. But the music is still kind of going. Okay, I'm 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 going. I can't I I can't. Okay, okay, good, good, good. We're safe. We're safe.
Oh my gosh. Oh, this game is just stressing the fuck out of me. I don't I don't Are we are we good though? Okay, I can't shit. What? Well, they're still around here. Then uh, I guess I'll die. Oh, nice. We're, we're, we're back on track. Y'all, we're back on track. Oh! This door. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm looking for a storage unit with a wardrobe. Uh not this one? Are you kidding me? Uh The fuck? No! Are you kidding me? Are you shitting me? You've got to be shitting me. Oh! Oh my gosh, am I gonna f survive this game? Oh my god, this game, this game, this game, this game, this game. Oh. Okay, I think we're good. I, okay, so I got in an impasse. I have no idea how to to go through this gr grid. Um. Oh. Okay. So I. Oh, this is the way to go. If I get lost, then um, yeah, I'm fucked. Is this this? Oh, nice, nice. Wait, is this the way I came from? I, 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 I sh shit. Fuck, I'm lost. Maybe I'm lost. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Wrong one! This is not a wardrobe that I've been to, right? This is a diff- This is a different room. God damn it! It's always those ones. Gosh. I never Aww. I hate when you do that like that. What the fuck? No, this is not a vibe. I'm 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 so lost. 
I am so lost in this labyrinth. I'm just, yeah, exploring at this point. I am no for a fact that I'm lost. Oh, wait. Is this the... Oh, please tell me this is the right one. No! Are you kidding me? Fuck. I'm lost though. Is it... This is the one I... I this is where I came from, right? I've been in this room before. Oh my god. This is what I'm all about. Somber! Oh my god, somber. No! No! Bad somber, bad! Demon Demonomaniac! Welcome! Welcome, welcome! Uh, hold on a sec. How are you doing? And welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the raid. Uh, having a very, very hard time right now. Having a very, very hard time. I'm not. I'm not doing well right now. How are the scares? Um, how are the scares? Um, awful. Absolutely awful. Why am I playing this in the dead of night? <laughs> and why must I have viewers that try to scare the fuck out of me? Oh, this this wasn't the game that you played. Hold on, let me see. The, let's see. Uh, yeah. The okay. Well, it doesn't. You were last seen streaming Final Fantasy two. <laughs> Wait, let me see. Uh, the one, oh, no. Yeah, it's spelled correctly. I don't understand. That is weird. I feel, yeah, it, uh, the way uh, Somber spelled it, it's correct. I don't know why it's show. If you haven't, if you weren't playing Little Hope, then I don't know why it's showing, so showing that. But any. Anywho, like, thank you so much for, for, um, for, uh, rating. I really appreciate that. Um, whether you are playing Little Hope or Final Fantasy, um, maybe just Twitch being Twitch. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Were you, wh wait, what were you playing though? Like, by the way, since you raided Final Fantasy 2, okay, okay, at least uh, the, sh the, the slash shout out worked. The second one. How, uh, what, how did, what, uh, I've, I'm familiar with Final Fantasy, but I've never played. I played the number 10, but not for long. Not for long. I, I'm just a familiar with the familiar with the franchise, but I've never like uh the the only Final Fantasy game that I've played uh, for more than one hour was the tenth one, but even then I didn't go far. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for the raid. Uh, since you are the raider, please do exclamation point spin to spin the wheel. So this is a game where like every time someone raids, we make the raider spin the wheel and to get the category and um and uh, we play the trivia game. It's, this one was your favorite but not for everyone. I'm not familiar with the second one to be honest. I'm familiar from number 7 to number 10. Those are the game, the Final Fantasy games I'm most familiar about. All right, so we got orange, which means that it is 
a game on a game on um question so it's either gonna be about a video game or it's gonna be about sport uh so the first person to get to uh, to answer correctly the stream chat gets a point and will feature on the leaderboard um google is allowed you just have to be the first person to answer the the question correctly oh final fantasy 10 it was your favorite yeah it is a lot of people's favorites and i can see why i can see why um like uh most of the people that that most people that i know who play final fantasy said that their number 10 was their favorite one uh anyway okay so here is the question in the 2012 london summer games misty may trainer and carrie walsh jennings won their third gold medal in what beach sport i repeat in 2012 london summer games misty may trainer and carrie walsh jennings won their third gold medal in which beach sport it's an easy one it is it's an easy one there's not there's not that many beach sports so this is a giving just think of any any sports that takes place on the beach volleyball guava you got it congratulations it is volleyball <laughs> congrats uh let me hold on let me find you on the list where are you um wait oh yeah go over that, that this is your second point there you go so you're moving in in the ranks you're moving on the ranks there you go just added you. Yay! Well, for once, it's not something that's difficult. It's it's a sports question, but it's not that difficult. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're gonna get back into the game. Um, I'm miserable right now, but it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Ah, uh, ta 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 ta. You're just a fast typer. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's that's what it was. All right, let's get. Oh, why must we? Why must we? Oh no, I don't want to. No. Where's the door? Oh my gosh. Where's the fucking door? I don't... They're just everywhere. I have no idea... I have no idea how to escape them. They're just everywhere. Okay, I'm just... Wait, what? Oh my gosh, the music is doing too much. They are just doing too much. I just want to be able to explore and not having to like run every five seconds. Is there like 
like I've been here before. What's our goal here? Escape or are we hunting down the ghosts? We're trying to find a, a specific room. Um, we're trying to find a specific room that um, that uh, can only the door can only be like has like a luminal handprint on oh, like this one for example but this place is like a labyrinth it's hard to um, it's hard to find yourself in this place and there are monsters after us very miserable time it's a very good game but god damn this place is a fucking like nightmare oh there he is oh, this has to be the place this has to be the place There you go. Oh my god. Clearly, this is the wardrobe. What is this? Could father have left it behind? Oh my god. It's gone. The box isn't here. I've got it. I've had it all this time. How could it be possible? What the devil is happening to me? I have to get to my office. I must wrap it. And send it to its owners. Legrand Amsberg. They're the ones who. My office. I'm going to. That's the address to Narnia. Oh my gosh. Over and screaming. Erica, come to my office. We'll, we'll all be there. Oh my god. Yeah, he's uh, he's done for. This is the right lot and yeah, the music box is in here. I need to get out of here as ASAP and head over to the Faber's house. Why? Okay, but like... Oh, oh wait. Oh, okay, yeah, there's the exit like a uh, sign that I must follow. more goals than you expected oh yeah this is more than every anybody bargained for to be honest um so there is this creature called the pre presence um and we don't know we don't know um oh Metal token for Coltor machines. Oh, nice. So there. Okay. So um, there is this creature called the Presence, and um, they found it in some kind of box. They opened it, and now like people are going mad, or people are going like disappearing. We have no idea what happened to them. So we're like investigating, but let's be honest. Let's be real over here. If, I, if it was me, I would just like, I would just leave. <laughs> I would not even entertain. Okay, so 
Fa where's Faber's house again? This one? Yeah. Okay, so I have to go back. We're honestly though we are just like ending episode number two and i feel like we're we're just at ending episode number two and i feel like i've i've this this is already like a full-on game but there are five episodes five of them and each one of them is like just like enough to make you go mad item a fortune seller's broken tooth um nice uh good to know okay so oh my gosh so if i go to this I started this game uh, in October for like for like spooky month and I couldn't finish it. It was just too much for me. Too much to bear. finish episode number two that is my that's my goal here this is my goal wait okay hold on if i get to episode number three i don't know <laughs> um oh Actually, there. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. oh, fucking hell! God damn it! No. Okay, I didn't mean. I. Fuck. Dang it. Okay, what well, that was upsetting. <laughs> If, oh my gosh, imagine we were playing as the daughter. As the that daughter of this father. guy. God. I don't even want to think about what must have happened in his final moments. As he was hanging from that noose with the bloody music box on the table next. I don't want to think about it, but somehow, very deep within me, I know the song was playing throughout his agony. Stalking him to the very frontier between life and death. Oh, he, that's some Wednesday Adams at least we had found smile the there. And we knew where it came from. The Grant Amersburg auction, it said, on the list of product lots, alongside an address. According to Hasha, things had improved after returning the box to Faber. So by returning it to its owner, perhaps we might be able to solve all this. Sounded unlikely, but considering my hallucinations, the things we found at the antique shop and Mr. Faber's terrible end, if it could all come to some good, we had to try it. Isolated far from the world, in a holiday manner that must be about 100 years old, the lady who owned the sinister box awaited us. 
For my little Ariadne, read the engraving on the inside of the cover. Good. For her, then. I can't imagine an elderly woman living here. Some of the people from my group therapy, yes, perhaps, but an elderly woman approaching the age of 90? I don't know. The papers from the office Wait, who the fuck the is this? sold most of her furniture, but that she still lived here. Mr. Grant? Hello? Oh my gosh. This place gives me the creeps. No kidding. No shit, Sherlock. Hello? Are you Miss Legrand? Ariadne Legrand? Amsburg. Pardon me? Legrand Amsburg. It's hyphenated. Oh. Well, my name is Daniel Neuer. And I work for a publishing firm. Through a series of chance occurrences, I found something I believe is yours. It seems crazy, but when you listen to it... That's its box. Um, no. I think it belongs to you. On the cover, it says... I wasn't speaking to you. Thank you for bringing it back. Mr. Neuer, this have is... you listened to it? Um, yes. Creepy. He has listened to it. Oof. That same night, oh my gosh. Something's Thanks gonna happen to her. A place to stay. I think the walls would come closing in on me if I were alone. It's no trouble, Dan. You're going to be paying for any pizza, though. Of course. I thought she died, though. You can sleep in your bed. I'll stay here on the couch. Thank you, Your Majesty. Have a good rest. But who is Sir she, Daniel? though? She Wait, too. I'm not even sure anymore. I thought she's... Is she supposed to be the daughter of the guy? The guy was hanging? <sighs> Didn't we kill her off? <laughs> Did she die in our, in our previous stream? Hey, Lydia? Lydia? Who was Lydia again? Daniel, are you alright? The fuck? That had not been a nightmare. I was awake. For certain. It was a hallucination. A hallucination like... Like those described by father in his letter. Shortly before hanging himself from a beam in his office. A hallucination. Or something worse. Much worse. Had it done any good to return the music box to its owner? Husha might have the answer, but his whereabouts were still unknown. And his trail seemed to have gone cold as the days passed by. Perhaps oh, yeah. in his office This guy has papers, disappeared. Among the documents he was researching while delving into the box's origins. Maybe there would be some clue in there as to where he had gone or what he had done. Something that would help us to follow his footsteps. I had to find Sebastian Husha, but this time, my life depended on it. Oh, we're going to another creepy place to find, like, some, some dude again. Episode number three. God damn it. God damn it, but wait, is it Lydia, like, um... The, the the name of the no who's the fuck is Lydia again um wait oh no er Erica is the okay but who the fuck is Lydia again Sophie, Etienne, Alina. Oh, we ha we haven't talked to Lydia. Yeah, no, I I don't know. Only twenty min nine minutes left. Listen, <laughs> listen. Okay, so I'm going. I'm gonna go back to M R James. Mm. 
I'm gonna go back to, uh, to Purple Death. Um, that had not been a nightmare. I was awake. For certain. It was a hallucination. A hallucination like... Like those described by father in his letter. Shortly before hanging himself from a beam in his office. A hallucination. Or something worse. Much worse. Had it done any good to return the music box to its owner? Husha might have the answer. But his whereabouts was still unknown. And his trail seemed to have gone cold as the days passed by. Perhaps in his office, somewhere in his papers. Among the documents he was researching while delving into the box's origins. Maybe there would be some clue in Why are we watching this gone, again? Or what he had it's, done. It's not Something necessary. Not We've been through this. Footsteps. I had to find Sebastian Husha. But this time, my life depended on it. Okay, I, I want to see which characters I can play as. Grace, a PhD student and Husha's mentee, and Professor Nasiri, one of his associates, gladly agreed to give us a hand with the search. They used to stay up late working in Husha's office, so that seemed like a good place to start. We oh. had no idea how serious the situation was. If we'd known about his family, those poor children. I hope we can at least find out what exactly he was after and where he went. There are some papers on his desk that haven't been touched since he left. We have a good chance of finding something there. Lately, I feel like something odd has gotten into Professor Husher. I mean, apart from his usual oddities. He seemed anxious about something and looked like he hadn't slept properly in days. No offense, Mr. Noria, but it looks like it's the same for you. Don't worry, none taken. I'm well aware. This is his desk. As you can see, there are a bunch of documents he uses as research for his novels. It's all here. We better take a look at his computer and the shelves, too. The sooner we get started, the sooner we'll find something out. Look at this here. There are some notes where he mentions the music box. But I can't quite understand what he means. AA-375 is underlined. AA, uh, that's how the documents in the Donations and Biographies Archive are designated. Maybe he was looking for something there. Biographies. Let's start with the Archive, then. Where is it? Donations and Biographies are on the basement level. I'm sure it will be closed, but we can easily find the janitor or a key. It's not a very busy area. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh. How can they make like a school like even creepy? Of all places, a freaking school. Okay, so. Here. Um, I'm not gonna play as Danielle again. Okay, but let's see here. Um, um, yeah, because I uh, since I I've, I've gone back to Mr. James, I need like a like a character that I can. Uh, if they die, it's no big deal. <laughs> okay, so Omar, Associate Professor at the State University of Arts and Humanities. He has a PhD in Art History and is a former student of the Sebastian P. Husher, with whom he works regularly in the field of education and has developed a certain friendship. A dedicated professor and excellent motivator, Omar has developed a per close personal and professional relationship with Grace Richards. A PhD student currently under the tutelage of Husher. I never miss a thing when I'm wearing these. Okay, he has good stats though. Oh, she has a lot of serenity and stuff though. Uh, Torch Grace Richards. Eager to discover the world beyond her borders, Grace, who holds a master in history, flew from the United States to Europe to 
complete her doctorate thesis and carry out the research that was personally important to her. Tutored, tu tutored by Professor Sebastian P. Husher, Grace is a brilliant stu student who has been found in Omar Nasiri's a fellow foreigner and a mentor and, and friend with whom she has clearly formed a bond of mutual understanding. An energy boost for exa exam time. Caffeine pills. Okay, so... Uh, whoever is still here, I'm gonna let you decide which one should I pick, Omar or Grace. So in this game, we have the, there is something called permadeath, where oh hi, welcome, Daddy Daga. Sugar, we're glad you're here. How are you enjoying the? best game ever made um terribly i pretty much i'm pretty sure i soiled a few undies so far and it said it's, uh, it's been very a uh, very very expensive stream <laughs> no no i'm kidding i'm kidding i actually i really enjoy this game so far um but i start this i started it like back in october and i'm still working on it working through it and we just arrived at episode number three oh, thank god we we were finally here we're finally here but now it's time to make a decision um uh i'm letting chat decide do you want omar or grace omar has the one of the best items huh like the glasses the reading glasses Yeah, a gr oh, Somber wants Grace. I am back to MR James. So for those of you who don't know, um, there is this thing called permadeath in this game. You have like a roster of characters that if your character dies, then you go back and uh, you choose another character and they go back and, they, you, you, and, and you, you just pick up from where you left off you like you go to the place where the character dies and you pick up their stuff and you you just continue this the the, the thingy um and if like if every character dies then you have to restart the whole episode but like if if we run out of characters like if there's only one left i'm going to back going back to like non permadeath i'm going back to to eta off man i can't i cannot i don't want to restart everything so but i went back to mr james because we were we're we're back to having like a bunch of characters but i killed off i killed off everybody in episode number two i killed off everybody Oh, this is a, a life system from Mario rather than primitive. I think of it like the life system from Mario. Oh, okay. Yeah, except re restarting the whole episode is like a fucking nightmare. The number of lives you lose on, you continue to, to from close to where you were. If you lost your lives, you restart the level. Yeah, well, I don't want us to restart the level. <laughs> um. Uh, you know what? I'm actually feeling. I'm actually feeling Omar. So I'm gonna go with Omar. Oh, I have the wisdom tooth. I don't know. I, I feel like. I'm, I don't know what the collectible items have done for me so far. But hey. Um, how do I get the bonus personal item? Let me go. I know the place. You keep searching this area. But, um... I... I feel like if they had done the game just like at the first episode, this it's already a fully fleshed out like horror game. But the fact that they made five different episodes and each episode is are long, like they're pretty long. 
I'm I'm really shocked. <laughs> oh oh hell no! Oh hell no! This place. I, uh, there's something in the atmosphere, something evil. How it, has it ever occurred to you to just come in and you're like you're like not just one person, like be two people. Why did why did you have to come in alone? Old copies of New World paper. The last time I came to the newspaper archive, they were in the proper says of putting everything to microf to microfiche. Huh. Dispenser full hasn't been passed here. She was drinking four liters of. Okay, so we have. This is the map here. And there's the modern archive over here. Oh, yeah. Can't forget. Okay, I'm not hearing anything. Mm-mm. I need an access card, of course you do. Of course you do. Mm -hmm. Wait, is there something on the, in the wastebasket? No, it's... yeah, there's nothing here. I don't think I need these. Huh? Oh, okay. Mr. Glover, I tried to give you uh, give you back your access card, but I couldn't find you. I thought you were in the downstairs control room, but I see you're not. Anyway, I'm go going away for the long weekend, and I'm not going to wait for you to turn up. We don't all have as much free time as you. Um, go to the shelves of the subject taught by Professor Dunn. From there, stand in front of shelves that would contain my surname. Count as many shelves as to the right as the size of Dunn's hat and look on the upper shelves. Are you kidding me? Don't mistake the professor's hats for mine, they are very different. In fact, I'll take my own with me just to make sure. Goodbye, enjoy the long weekend. P.S. I'm not taking my hat in the end. Merino, oh my gosh, Merino, are you kidding me? Are you ki are you kidding me, Merino? All right. Merino, he's always the same. That man needs a therapist. Gosh, those are actual pictures. <laughs> Funny. Oh, top hat. Wait. Mm -hmm. It's a size hey, eight. Oh, huh, nice. Okay, I feel like I will forget this by the time I get to. The... Oh, are you kidding me? Uh -huh. Six? Oh my gosh. Six or eight. Not the... The ma machine not working? How dare they? Zachary done. Which one is this one? Joseph Marino. Mm. 
not a creepy office at all. Not like, absolutely not. Oh wait, no no no, I don't I don't I don't know. Wait wait no no no, that's not. Oh god. I'm going to to check out this thing here. Oh, that is that alcohol? <laughs> for records of former students, what would Merino need these for? I don't. I still don't even know what a Merino is. Huh? This might be important. Um. Butterfly collection. Grace despises him. She says it's cycle to keep that here. Loves model ships. What does he do exactly? He's a faculty member, but what exactly does he do? Okay, so... So in here, it said that that uh, the subject taught by Professor Dunn. So we, if we go here, we could find out more about about Professor Dunn. Teacher, huh? Okay, not helpful. Mm -hmm. um, it's so nice to have like your own little library. Um, Why oh, so sinister? Wednesday 16th the 16th of December exam um, the professor shit wait are you for real? Can't I look at this board here? No. Okay. 16th of December, there's an exam. But wh which class? I think I saw something in, in the office of this guy that could help us. Uh, it was over here. 16th of December. History of religions. Scariest part uh, exam or scariest part of the game? Exactly. Oh no. Final exam. So he teaches history of religions. I need to remember that. Probably won't remember, but I have to try. I want to name this game. Uh, I want to name this game. The exploring by yourself because I'm the dumbass game. That's what I wanna call it. Oh, wait. Where's that? Mm -hmm. So, career that gives you access to the cleaning room or to the storeroom, depending on who you ask. Oh, God. Okay, so. Um, okay, so go to from there, stand in front of the shelves that would contain my surname. Wait, 
What is this? Marino? What's the surname of Marino? God damn it. I can't believe I f didn't think about checking that. Uh, what's. Jose Joseph Michael Marino. So the surname would be Joseph or Michael? Oh my gosh. Uh, and then um, count as many shells to the right as the size of, uh, of the dots had and look on the upper shelves. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Okay. Okay. How about fuck you, Marino? Is it Marino? Oh my! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I need to concentrate, y'all. Oh my gosh. I try to keep this thing. Oh my gosh. Wait, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Oh my gosh. I yeah, I think I feel like this maybe the it, maybe Marino is a surname. Holy hell? What was that thing? Dude, how about we leave? How about you leave now? <laughs> you go, you are you go, just saying. What? How do we know this is- Oh, oh wait, hold on. Shell C? What's that even mean? Shell D. That doesn't help me at all. Am I in the history of religion here? Oh my gosh. Religion is R, right? <laughs> is that how a library works? I don't know. <laughs> High Street, the Mad Hatter. Very funny. There has to be like a, a, a little computer that we can use to check um, where everything is. Oh, there it is! Um, religion is shelf E and F. Yeah, it's usually more complicated. Okay, so we have religion, E and F. Um, it's either... Mm, okay, uh, it was a Joseph Michael Marino. Okay, so it's J or M. So shelf E. Shelf E. Um, no, that's D. Okay, stand in front of a. Okay, so it's either oh to the right. If I okay, look as count as many shells that to the right as the size of Don's hat. Look at the upper shelves. 
Okay, so to the right. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it was either six or eight. No. Okay. Uh, so it was eight. Mm -mm. What? I don't get it. What do you mean, uh uh? I might have to look it up. I'm pretty sure I did it right though. Yeah, religion. It's uh, it's shelf E. Shelf E. So. Um, F, okay, so six, F, J, H, I, J, K, oh my gosh, I'm gonna look it up, I'm, I'm frustrated, I am frustrated, I don't care, I did it right, in my heart, I did it right, size eight, so, Um So okay, so the black woman details language? How is it language? Wait, how how hold on 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 Hold the fuck on Okay so we in Zachary Dunn's office. Uh, under oh, there's a wait. Zachary Dunn's office. Oh, hold on. Oh, I didn't realize that there is like a um, a hiding place like in Don's office. Why not Mary? No. That's so weird. But anyway, so if I understand correctly, okay, so Don says 12.30 final exam in on Wednesday 16th of December. So the on the bulletin board, 12.30. Oh, it's French, it's language. Oh my fucking god. Okay, I, 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 I thought it was religion, but it was actually language. And uh, Marino is the Marino is the surname. Okay. So it's shelf I, and you count six shelves. Dunn's hat size. So that w it's shelf O. Oh my god, fuck me. I can't even do something like as simple as that. It was shelf O, y'all. Oh, there it is. No. Mm -mm. Wait, what? Wait, 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 there's something here. Oh, okay. I thought I thought we fucked it up. Oh card with my magnetic strip on the back 
Oh. Y'all. Yeah. I'm so sorry. We just re we, we just reached 3 a.m. You know what this means. It's it's the end of the stream. I'm sorry. It's been uh well you did get like four hours of horror game <laughs> but we well it's 3 a.m where i am now so i i cannot i cannot continue <laughs> all right well it's gonna be it for tonight um tomorrow tomorrow i am going to be playing uh i will be starting the stream helping people is Wasn't what i'm enough. all about mushberry shroom cake welcome thank you Sugar. so We're much glad you're here thank you so much for the follow i appreciate that yes uh yeah i'm i'm so <laughs> sorry i'm sorry i will bring back horror night at some point i don't know when I don't know when but i will bring it back um kind of i kind of want to continue song of horror uh, there is also the whispering valley that i want to continue but i cannot as long as they don't have a guy because your girl here is not smart enough the girl here is not smart enough point and click forget about it i need i need a <laughs> i need a guide came in from all oh, demonomaniacs raid and been lurking well thank you so much for the follow anyway welcome welcome yeah so um hi welcome i am tina balducci i am a variety streamer i mainly stream point and click g adventure games and uh occasionally the art the occasional rpg games uh the occasional horror games or like tonight i've i've been playing horror games uh and uh yeah when will i bring back horror night i don't know uh I, but i'm excited i'm excited to continue at some point uh but we're, we're gonna go back to the normal programming um we're gonna go back to the normal programming for a while uh and um so i will be starting a new game next tuesday called the golden idol and uh it it actually uh it's very looks very very good it's, i've been recommended this game highly recommended it wednesday i will continue pentiment i will continue pentiment tomorrow starting 3 p.m eastern time uh i think was yeah i think i said 3 p.m eastern eastern time starting 3 p.m i will continue the desperate housewives video game so yeah you you will you'll see me too you'll see me soon you'll see me soon <laughs> but yeah all right let me see who i let me see what i can read if if anybody is still playing right now I have no idea. Is there anybody playing anything right now? Oh wow, okay, so uh Oh wow, Snuggly is still playing. I I'm going to be I'm gonna be raiding Snuggly. Uh but before we do that before we do that um I'm gonna uh oh hold on a sec if if you are a sub to me then you feel free to copy the first raid message if not there's also the second raid message that you could use that has the free emotes but thank you so much everybody for joining me to tonight it was really fun i really appreciated that as such a blast and hopefully I will see you tomorrow uh, for more Desperate Housewives, more adultery, more drama, more slapping, more sabotaging, more cheating, you know, more hoeing. <laughs> and yeah, uh, I will see you. I will see you. Yeah, soon. Thank you so much again, Demonomaniac, for the raid. I appreciate that. I hope to see you again at some point. 
Yeah, it was really fun. Thank you, thank you. I will see you next time. Bye bye. Oh, because I've been going for five hours. My goodness. My, oh, Tina, oh my goodness. Thank you for the raid. Welcome.